Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your boy, Basement Dweller Opinions, coming back at you with another one of his motherfucking opinions. Now, we're going to talk about YouTube boxing. I've been told constantly over and over by the same subscriber, because I don't, like, I don't got a lot of subscribers, and I don't have a lot of people that will consistently comment on my video. I, I got, like, I think six that I can think of, like, that are coming to my head, right? And one of them, he's been here for the longest. And he's been, he's, he's, he's always been like, man, talk about this, talk about this, talk about this, talk about this. And so I'm going to talk about this. Not so much because he asked. But I mean, hey, look, you know. Maybe I want to start getting a little bit more views. A little bit, you know what I mean? I don't need a million views, but, you know, maybe a little bit more. And that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty nice. But we're going to talk about the YouTube box shit. We're going to talk about Deji versus Alex Wasabi. Now, I just recently saw a little clip. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it. If you guys follow YouTube boxing at all, KSI was in the gym, the gym with Deji. And it's always cool seeing those two together. They'll probably always get millions of views because just their history together. Uh, they've had feuds and people want to see them getting along because they were a part of the golden age of YouTube. And whenever they were together in the past, they've created some of the best gaming content ever. I mean, I think that they've helped format a style of gameplay or a style of react videos in which two people will do it at the same time, um, trying to bounce off of each other's, um, you know, energy because they get along together. So like, hey, I mean, even I tried that. I There was a channel and I'm going to plug the channel. <laughs> two Dope Boys. Go check it out. It's two i think it's two space dope boys all in one yeah and put dope boys with a z and it's me and my friend gavin there's only like i think one or two videos up now we used to have a whole bunch but they all got uh unlisted i don't know if that's because of him or i don't know if it's because of youtube he says it's because youtube i don't really care uh but yeah no we even we even tried to do that shit so it's like yeah yeah we we, we like seeing we like seeing them you know we like seeing them together again because it reminds us of the good old days when deji was scared to play a horror game and ksi was scared too but he was he was less scared than him he was like stop being a bitch and it was like it's just funny it was funny now ksi is back and i would like to think that ksi would be honest but i don't know you know like i don't i think KSI, even if Deji was shit, I don't, I'm not saying I think KSI, I'm not saying like KSI lied, I'm not saying Deji was shit, but I don't think it means really anything in that clip, because in that clip, KSI is saying, oh yeah, your opponent is fucked, your opponent's gonna get knocked out, yeah, he didn't even say Alex was out, he just said your opponents, so maybe he has more, another opponent after this, he said opponents plural, so he might have another one uh, planned, maybe not lined up, but planned, uh, and I don't, I, I I think KSI, even if Deji did suck, yeah, I mean, not even suck, but, like, maybe if Deji wasn't even, like, all that great, he still would say that because he's not going to tell his brother a week before his fight, yeah, bro, you look a little trash. He's going to want his brother to be as confident in himself as possible. Now, what I will say is Deji did see, I mean, I, we haven't seen Deji's body. He hasn't taken off his shirt. I'm imagining if he did have a six-pack or something like that because he claimed he's not, he's not going to, uh, you know, something, something about getting a six-pack. He said he wouldn't upload again until he got a six-pack. I don't know if he's going to... Some people just can't get six-packs. I, I honestly... I think I'm a four-pack guy. I, I, I've never had a pack, to be honest. But I don't think I could get a six-pack if I really were to try. You know? Um, and Deji, I don't know. But he does look like he's in some decent shape. He looks a little bit slimmed down. Um, so hopefully he's in good shape and he's doing well with the conditioning aspect. In terms of the boxing match, YouTube boxing is always so hard to really be able to break down. We have to go and look at 30 seconds of sparring, or we have to go and look at clips of them hitting the pads, and then we got guys like The Wade Show, and I love The Wade Show, but we got guys like The Wade Show that are, that'll break down clips of them hitting pads, and then they'll say, oh, well, here's what he's doing wrong. He's not turning over on his shots. He's dropping his hands. He's doing this. He's doing that. And then it's always prefaced by like, oh, well... He is just hitting pads, though, and it sort of defeats the purpose of you even making a whole video about it. You know, like, why are we talking about this then? There's no point in really breaking down 
him hitting the pads. There's not much point in us looking at a five second clip of him sparring somebody and beating up someone who doesn't look like they're that good anyways. You know, we won't know. And even if he was sparring a pro and he was looking great sparring them or he was sparring a pro and he looked shit or he looked mediocre, doesn't matter because, hey, it's just sparring at the end of the day. If he's sparring that pro and he looks good, we're, our minds are probably going to be like, hey, well, that pro probably wasn't going that hard on him. You know, it's not that serious. It's just sparring. If he was looking shit against the pro, it was like, okay, well, maybe Deji was just trying to work this one thing. He's not good at that thing that day. Our mind is always going to do that because that's what they do. And that, that's how sparring works. That's how sparring works. You, you'll work a thing on certain days and the other person will work another thing on that day as well because they're both trying to get work in and work on different aspects of the game. So breaking down sparring doesn't matter. So that's why it's always hard to talk about this. Alex Wasabi, I mean, the guy has a questionable chin getting knocked out by Fuzi. But Fuzi is a bigger guy than him. But still, at the end of the day, I spar bigger guys. They land on me. I'm very hard to land cleaned on anyway. Cleaned? Land clean on anyways. But still, I don't get knocked the fuck out. Like, I just, it, it doesn't happen to me, okay? It's, it's kind of, uh, but um, Alex Wasabi, questionable chin, obviously, in big gloves, getting knocked out by uh, Fuzi Tube. And... We don't, I mean, we've got footage on them, but still, at the end of the day, there's, there's no point in breaking it down. So really, you have to look at, I think the only things that we can take is sort of like the mentality of each guys, how we know them in the, their past and their experience. So obviously, I'm thinking this, this, this fight is always like, it's a what if sort of thing, right? It's always what ifs, if this guy's doing this, if it's like this. There's no hardcore answers breaking down this thing because it's not like, these are all world champions like in actual boxing. These guys are all world champions or they're all champions. They fought in amateurs and they had experience. So they're seasoned fighters. We know what their mentality is like going in there. We, we've seen them fighting and we know if or when they break or how they thrive, how they flourish, how this person, you know, we know all that. That's why we know Jake Paul would lose to Canelo. Even if Jake Paul started to look like he had a little bit, he had the perfect formula to beat Canelo. He had the ability to fight off the back foot and keep moving. We know Jake Paul would still lose just because the mentality. Jake Paul would eventually break. He would eventually tire. He's not really made to be a fighter fighter like that. You know what I mean? He'd eventually break under the pressure of fucking Canelo Alvarez. It is what it is. You beat Tyron Willie great, but, you know, it's ain't about Jake Paul. So, when looking at this, who do I think will win? Honestly, I'm going to go with Deji. Um... I'm going to go with Deji. I'm going to go out only. I'm going to gamble on my boy. Because I'm a little attached to Deji. I've known Deji. I haven't known Deji. But I've watched Deji since I was a... Uh, since I was a kid. Since I was in high school. You know? So I got to back him. And I got to be confident in the fact that... Hey, this guy, you know... Perhaps he really did come around. The guy embarrassed himself. Really, he only embarrassed himself once. The first time when he lost to Jake Paul, he didn't embarrass himself. himself. You, you were fighting the bigger guy. You're fighting the bigger guy, and he was just better that night. You didn't train as hard as you should have, but still, and despite all that, you still looked good. And in retrospect, it aged like wine, right? So you embarrassed yourself in the Vinny fight because, well, you gave Jake Paul the hardest fight that he's ever had. So you got to beat the shit out of Vinny Hacker, and then you lost to him. So in this, so you embarrassed yourself. So now he needs to, he wants to come back and put in the work. And I'm hoping... If he did come back, if he did put in the work, he has the talent, he has the ability. Even in that fight, even in the Vinny Hacker fight in which he lost, he still, went in the first round, he actually looked good. He was he was ducking shots, he was throwing big, powerful shots. He wasn't getting hit all too cleanly, but once he started getting tired, so that's really it. That's the, it's the conditioning. I don't think, I think it's the conditioning in the mindset. Deji's a smart guy. I think Deji would have learned from all this. I think Deji would have learned from this, and if he can, if he learn from it, he'll learn how to pace himself. He'll learn not to blow his load. He'll learn how to pick his shots better, go in with straight shots, not just the looping powerful shots, and how to mix it up more. And I like Deji's chances after seeing him and knowing the history that he has versus Alex Wasabi. He has no history. This will be his first fight. In a little bit, we see him. We see him getting knocked out in big gloves by Fuzi. It's like. You know, I, I mean, I just, and plus Alex Wasabi, just how he is as a person, how he displays himself, he seems sort of like a coward, sort of in a way, like like a little punk, you know? Maybe he's not. Maybe he's not. 
Maybe he's one of those guys that get in over the head. Maybe, I don't know. This, this is why it's so difficult to be able to commentate on this sort of thing. But my pick is Deji. I'm going to go with Deji like many other people are, are going to do. But if Deji, I, I'm gonna, it's the same thing everyone else says. It's the same thing everyone else says. I don't really have anything new to add because I can't have anything new to add. Um, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And uh, I'm out. Peace.